hello once again uh, we're going to look at uh, the visibility rules uh, for 13 17 and 19 and the previous class uh, we were able to you know, establish for 3, 7 and 11 and uh, in this class we we'll continue from where we stopped. So here we, we establish the, the seed numbers that are necessary to test for uh, the divisibility rules for 13, 17 and 19. Uh, using the seed uh, concepts. Now the seed concept, you know, uh, embedded his principle on the fact that every odd prime number, you know, uh, usually gives uh, a unit digit of either one or nine in their first two or uh, ten multiples. What this simply means that there are occasions where you know. You multiply it to prime numbers that the results will either end in one or nine. So our principle uh, will be based on that. Now let's look at 13. How to derive uh, the seed number to test uh, for uh, the visibility rule for 13. Okay, now we have 13 for this time. This is 13, 1 and 3. We look for a number that can multiply another prime number that can multiply 13 so that the unit digits can either end in 1 or 9. And if we do that, 3 multiplies 13 will give us that. So 13 times 3, uh, this will give us uh, 39. And look at 39. 39 is simply just saying uh, we have a 40 minus 1. Okay, and a 40 minus 1, we can also express it as this 4 times 10 minus 1, so which is 39. So we replace this 39 with this, our 4 times 10 minus 1. Okay? Now once we have done that, we're through. This 4 that multiplied 10 here is the seed number that are necessary to test uh, for the visibility rule for 13. Okay? But since this is ending with a minus 1, so our seed number will become positive. Okay, we just leave plus 4. Okay? Okay, we'll also look at uh, another number that can multiply 13 so that the unit digit will end uh, in 1. And that is, we are saying, this is 13 times 7. So, uh, 7 times 30, uh, times 3, uh, that will give us 21. We'll write that 1 and carry, the, uh, carry 2. Uh, 7 times 1 is 7 plus the 2 we carry forward. I will give us uh, 9. So here, our 91 is the same thing as we are saying 90 plus 1. And we can also express it as 9 plus 10 uh, plus uh, 1. So we replace 91 with 9 times 10 plus 1. Okay? And here, the seed number here is just is 9. Here, because this ended with plus 1, our seed number will be minus uh, so when this one is n with plus, the seed number will become minus. When this n with uh, negative, the seed number will become positive. Okay? Then let's try look at 17 as a prime number. 17 times what one number do we use to multiply 17 to give us so that the unit digit can either be 1 or 9. So we can say 17 times uh, 7. Uh, this is 7 times 7 is 49, rather than 9. 7 times uh, 1 is 7, plus the 4 we carry forward, uh, that will give us um, 11. So this is 119. And our 119, uh, we can express 119 is uh, 120 minus 1. Okay? And here we can also say this is uh, 12 times 10 minus 1. Because we are trying to look at the multiple of 10 here, we see that. Uh, this is 120 minus 119, and this is, um, we can write this, this is 12 times 10 minus 1, okay? So we see that here, our seed number is 12, 
Okay, because this is minus one, it will just be plus four. Okay, then let's look at another prime number that can multiply 17 so that the unit GDP will end in one. So here we can say 17 times 3. Or 7 times 3 uh, is 21. The unit digit will usually end in 1. So we put 1 here, for instance. Then 7 carry the, 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 the tenth digit, which is 2. 3 times uh, 1 is 3, plus that uh, 2. That gives us uh, what? 5. Okay. So our 51 can express it as uh, 50 plus 1 which is the same thing as 5 times 10 plus what? Plus 1. So we replace this as 5 times 10 plus 1. So here, our C number is Z. Because this is plus, our C number will automatically become minus 5. Okay? That is for that. Okay? Then we look at 19. 19 times what? So that the unit digit will end with 1. Okay, from our principle says that every odd prime, so odd prime numbers that will multiply, um, uh, they usually give a unit digit of one and uh, nine. So here, what we use is just one. We use one so that one times nineteen is nineteen, and our nineteen is the same thing as twenty minus one, so which is two times ten minus one. So here we say two times ten minus one. Okay, our our seed number is two. Yeah, because this is minus one, so we we'll just have a two. Okay, now let's move on. Nineteen. Nineteen times what will give us uh, so that the unit DJ will end with what? With N A nine. And that is a uh, nine. So nine times nine is eighty one. We'll write that. One carry eight. Nine times one is nine plus eight. That will give us a uh, seventeen. So that is 171. So 171 is the same thing as 170 plus 1. So which is this is 17 can be expressed as 17 times 10 plus 1. Okay? 17 times 10 plus 1. And this 171 becomes 17 times 10 uh, plus 1. So the same number is this 17 because this is ma this is plus, it becomes minus. 17. Okay, uh, we can see that we'll be able to establish of the number that are necessary to test for the visibility rules for 13, 17, and uh, 19. Now let's check. For instance, if we have a uh, uh, this place, we have um, um, uh, 52. Um, let's check whether 52 uh, 13 is divisible by this. What we usually do is that. You look, use this seed number to multiply the unit digit and into the rest digits. That's the procedure. So 4 times uh, 2 is 8. 8 plus 5 is 13. You see, it's very clear now. It's obvious that, you know, uh, 13 is divisible by 52. So if we try this, uh, this is minus 9 times 2 minus 18. Minus 18 plus 5 equals minus 13. It shows that... Uh, it is uh, also divisible by 13. So this using the two C number, you see that it is now obvious, very correct. Okay. Now let's look at the next um C, uh, uh, prime number, uh, which is uh, 17. Let's try 51 um, to see. Let's check if uh, 51 is divisible by 17. So what we do, we see this is the one of the C numbers is 12. 12 times the unit digits. Uh, 12 times one is. Uh, 12 add this to this, um, that is 17. It's clear here. Now let's try minus 5. Minus 5 times 1 is minus 5. Add it to this, give us 0. It's clear that you know it is divisible by 17. Okay, then let's move for the last one. Let's assume we have a, this is 171. We want to test if it is uh, divisible by 19. Okay, these are the two seed numbers. Uh, 2 and the minus 17. Here um, we say 2 times the unit digit, which is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. And 2, you add it to 17, that will give us 19. This is now very clear that it is divisible by uh, 171. 19 is divisible by 171. 
Now let's look at minus 17. Minus 17 times 1 is minus 17. And if we multiply it, we add it to 17, it will give us uh, 0. You see, uh, the essence of the divisibility rule is that uh, it is a very useful, or let me put it, it's a shorthand and a useful uh, way of knowing if uh, an integer is divisible by a fixed divisor uh, without a remainder. Okay? It enables us to know. Not, not necessarily carry out division uh, process, but it is test that if the number is exactly divisible by this, uh, we have established for um, 3, or 7, and 11, and in this class we have done for 13, 17, and 19. In our next class, uh, we're going to look at uh, 23, um, uh, 29, and 31. So, the essence of this video is to show because we already have an established way of doing this, uh, a fixed rule, but uh, we can derive this in on our own using this same number. Uh, this principle that said that you know every odd prime number usually gives a unit digit of either one or nine in their first two ten multiples. Okay, have a nice time. You can go over this, but please. Uh, once this thing comes across to you, uh, you click on the link and the link will direct you to my YouTube uh, uh, channel, Mathematics uh, YouTube channel. And the one you need to help me do is just to subscribe. Uh, subscribe so that when such a uh, useful video and this will come and you will get the notification. You can as well also share uh, to other group. Have a nice time. See you in our next uh, special class.